Well, with just 24 hours until recreational marijuana becomes legal in Maryland, local law enforcement agencies now are preparing for new adjustments when it comes to how they police communities. 7 News' Alina Shirazi sitting down now with Montgomery County Police Chief to find out how his department is handling the change. Law enforcement has always been one of those professions that have learned to adapt and overcome. And Montgomery County Police Chief Marcus Jones knows his department will have to adapt once recreational pot becomes legal in Maryland this Saturday. Me personally, I've been in cities such as Washington, D.C. where it's legal, um, legalized, and I can clearly tell you there are many times I've walked the streets of Washington and the odor of marijuana is pretty prevalent. So we expect the same. Seven News sitting down with Chief Jones, who says his officers have been preparing for this day for years, doing weed labs with medical marijuana license holders. Um, they would bring their products uh, voluntarily to our training academy, um, and we would allow them to actually utilize cannabis or marijuana at that very in, in, under our supervision, um, at which point in time we would... Uh, we would actually demonstrate to them as well as learn from them the impact cannabis had after they had ingested it. The new law will bring some changes across the states, but Chief Jones wants people to know this. If you're driving high, you will be arrested. We do have drug recognition experts that will be you know, out and about and available should we need them if we believe we have somebody who's under the influence. Chief Jones wants to clear the haze. Just like alcohol, pot is illegal for those under 21 years old. You can't smoke or ingest it in a car and can't take it in public places like parks, schools, or sidewalks. The society, as they have decided that this is what they want here in the state of Maryland, at the end of the day, safety is our is, is what we do. Um, and uh, to try to create a public, uh, uh, the public safety that is required uh, by our community, and we'll work towards that. Alina Shirazi, 7 News.